as you know, we recently released CDM version 5.4. Um, and with it came a lot of changes, not necessarily to the model, um, but the way in which we are actually disseminating um, the model or the, the table structure to you. So the model itself, um, there are some, some nominal changes, but we really actually made a big shift in our, in our development. Um, and we kind of came up to, to speed with the rest of, of Odyssey. So I'm, I'm gonna take you back in time a little bit. This is this is an old branch, so I'm in the Common Data Model Repository on GitHub. And if you remember, not so long ago, in the not so distant past, um, when you would go to download the the DDLs or which is the script that actually instantiates the CDM tables in your environment, um, you could either go to the the front page of the GitHub repository, and you'd find all these folders that had um, the scripts for each of the SQL dialects that we support, um, or you would go to the release, and when you downloaded the release, you'd get this, this same uh, set of folders. Um, but what we found is that this was becoming a little cumbersome, and it was easy to get out of sync with the latest release and what was on the master branch. Um, and actually, we were seeing uh, issues in my own organization with how we were um, writing DDLs and, and instantiating these tables. And we found that we were getting out of sync just within, within ourselves. Um, so the first major change I'm going to share with you, so I'm going to go to the releases tab. And if you go to the releases tab, you'll see now that they're under CDM version 5.4. Um, there's a zip file now that's called OMOP CDM underscore 5.4. And there's the original uh, source code zip files as well. But if you're just looking for the current release um, and the current scripts, then all you would need to do is download this zip file. Um, and when you download it, so my downloaded into my uh, downloads folder, I'm going to bring this over really quick. Um, you get your zip file here. And this is my very messy downloads folder. Um, but you get your zip file. And when you unzip it, you get an output folder. And then you see 5.4 relating to CDM version 5.4. Um, and then there are scripts in each of these folders. So if you are just looking for the scripts, a really easy way to do that is to just go download uh, the release itself. Now, we're not really here to talk about just the scripts, um, there's a couple different things that we've added now. Uh, so I'm going to show you really quick. So this is a Postgres instance that I have on my local machine. Um, and you'll see here I have this Odyssey demo schema, and it has no tables in it. Um, so keep that in the back of your mind, and I'm going to show you how our R package works and can connect directly to your, uh, to your system and, and your database. All right, so I'm going to open up my R Studio, and I've, I've put this together here. Um, but we have this package. It's, it's conveniently called Common Data Model. So if you want to download it, um, all you need to do is install DevTools and then use DevTools to install from GitHub your Odyssey Common Data Model package. And this falls in line with a lot of our other packages and how we download it. Um, and I will be sharing this code with you if you are interested, um, just to get you started on how to work with this package. It's a pretty simple package, but I think it's actually been uh, very helpful, I know for myself um, as well as for others. And, and before I go any further, I will say um, huge thank you to Peter, Frank, Adam, Maxime, um, Alan, uh, Andrew, um, so many people who helped with this. So I'm just sharing it with you today, but there have been a lot who have contributed here. Um, so the first thing you might be wondering is, I actually you may not actually know what dialects we support within uh, the CDM and, and what scripts you can actually download. So we have this handy little function that says list supported dialects. And you can see down here all the SQL dialects that we support. So if you don't have one of these, I know Roger Carlson's going, when are we going to support Databricks and Spark SQL? So um, of course, there was a, uh, a recent release of SQL Render for, for Spark, so we will be adding that soon. And Roger, I hear you. If you're out there, we're working on Databricks. <laughs> um, so this shows you it just right up front the supported dialects. And then we also have a nice handy function that shows you the su list 
the supported versions, which tells you which versions of the common data model you can actually uh, generate with this package. Um, so you may have said, oh, well, I don't want to download all the files from that zip file. That's a lot of extra text files and, and stuff I don't want. Maybe you just want to download the Postgres version of the scripts themselves. So we have this handy little function called build release. You pass it uh, the CDM version you're interested in, your target dialect, as we already see that Postgres is supported here. So you uh, send it your target dialect and you tell it your output folder. So when I generate that and then I go over to my desktop, you'll see now I have this nice little folder CDM demo version 5.4 Postgres SQL, and then all my SQL scripts are there. So a nice little handy way if you just want to quickly download the scripts and you don't want to go to the release and find the specific one you're interested in. All right, but maybe you're saying, well, I actually really want to just instantiate the tables. I want the package to do this for me. Um, and so we actually have a really nice uh, little function that does that as well. So um, you do need to install database connector and you'll see here, um, Please don't copy my password, okay? It's a really password that's really near and dear to my heart, okay? Um, I feel like everybody who uses Postgres just uses Postgres. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna create my connection details here to connect up to my Postgres instance we saw earlier. And then I'm just gonna use this function called execute DDL. I'm telling it I want to instantiate version 5.4. And then we have that empty schema called Odyssey demo. And I'm going to run that and it creates my tables um, and they are all in here. They should be now. I just have to refresh it. And then, OK, well, it happened earlier. <laughs> oh, no, this is the, the issue with a live demo. Um, but it was there last night and then it all of a sudden is there. But I don't know why. Mark is laughing at me. <laughs> Um, but I did have my schema. Uh, I'm laughing with you, Claire. I know this happens to everybody with a live demo, right? I had the tables and I, um, oh, it says it says person already exists. So you got to trust me. It's already there. It's just not showing it because my Postgres instance is not showing it. Oh, there it is. Okay. It just took it a second. It was a little tired this morning. Uh, so there we got all of our, all of our tables instantiating, uh, instantiated there. And so it makes it a lot easier. Um, hopefully this should help you in your future projects. Um, we'll have more things coming out. Um, you know, we're, we're looking to do some additional items for some CDM extensions and, and some other things. And so we're really hoping to use this as a jumping off point um, to really support a lot of the work that's going on around the community. So that's about it for me. It was a really short little demo. Um, you know, we will continue to give you some uh, communications about CDM version 5.4, you know, as tools continue to to support the new version, what that's going to look like. Um, but we're, we're really trying to be as open and and um, communicative as possible. Thank you, Adam. That's very sweet. Um, so just a little plug too, if you weren't aware, I'm going to put a link in the chat to our github.io site. If you are interested, just what exactly are those changes in CDM version 5.4? We have them enumerated here. Um, I think I was under my 15 minute mark, even with a hiccup in my live demo. So you, you nailed it, Claire. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say, because Maxims is a recording and I know how long, um, mixes uh we we do we can we can take some questions at least for about five minutes so if there are any questions um you know we want to stick right now to to cdm 5.4 uh i think this would be a good time to to ask so uh, there's one in the chat when are organizations expected to move to 5.4 so uh that's a really good question we don't have a hard and fast date right now so what we're going through and we've been working on this um, in the CDM working group is trying to understand <laughs> Patrick says now um, what we're trying to understand is what tools tool support do we need it and right now as we understand it most of the tools especially Atlas um, will work with CDM version 5.4 so if you are interested in moving to CDM version 5.4 it's a pretty easy 
transition um, as in looking just at the changes that are there. And if you're concerned about Atlas working with it, um, right now we don't anticipate any issues. We're still doing some testing, but we haven't seen any problems so far. Um, and what I'm hoping is, you know, throughout the course of next year, we're going to be uh, offering some CDM workshops for those folks who um, might want to move to CDM version 5.4, have maybe some ETL questions or, you know, need some help in that area. So I'm hoping that like by, you know, early to mid next year, we'll have most of our organizations on version 5.4. Yes, Philip, we do need 5.4 support for DQD. Um, that is um, actively being developed right now and i'm hoping by the end of this month it should be there and fully tested robbie says did 5.4 come after 6.0 yes it did um i would say so 6.0 we've put on hold um we had some methodologic questions around using date times versus dates and when we really looked into it we realized there were some assumptions being made when we use date times that are not present when we use uh just use dates so we decided to put on hold on that until we can really understand the implications of those decisions so um, if you're using 6.0 and it's working well with your atlas instance then i would say you know don't don't necessarily move to 5.4, um, but there might be some features in 5.4 that you would want, like the episode and episode event table uh, for that were developed by the oncology group. Um, those are available in 5.4 and not in 6. Yep. Oh yeah, Patrick says we should all be on 5.4 that we're on lockstep together. So yes, I would agree. Like, if you can, please move to 5.4. Can I use the R code again? You were copying it. Oh yes, of course. And I will. I will send out this. Um, I will send out this R code as well. It's a pretty. It's pretty simple, um, but it's nice and to the point. One question earlier from the chat. Where's the documentation for that R library? Um, so the documentation um, is embedded in the R package itself um, at the. You know, like a normal help function. Um, and then we have some documentation um, in the README on the GitHub uh, repository. Um, but the help section, um, just like a, a really a nicely put together R package, um, which is why I needed Adam and Frank and Peter and Maxime, um, they did write comments and in, the instructions on how to use those functions within the package. Okay, anything else? Just as a comment, this is a question. Um, so I think, you know, with, with Claire's leadership nicely, we achieved the goal of really tidying up the CDM as a, as a foundational asset, okay? So now we have a clear um, description and documentation. We have a clear uh, way to instantiate. We have a clear way uh, for, um, you know, other systems uh, to do this automatically if they so choose. Um, and the number of mistakes and, and, and blemishes is way down, probably not zero. So please keep finding uh, issues uh, and let us know. Um, but uh, we, we very much hope so uh, that going forward, we can keep that level of quality um, uh, and as we build the, the future versions at some point. So thanks, Claire. Yeah, absolutely. It was a big group effort from the CDM working group.